and living guide. Happy cow. Hi, I'm Ken Spector with Happy Cow, and I'm here in Warsaw, Poland with a Warsaw vegan. His name is Patrick. How long have you been vegan, and how have you seen the vegan scene changing here in Warsaw? Yeah, I've been vegetarian and vegan uh, for over 20 years, and I've been living in Warsaw around that time, mm -hmm. like 20 years. And uh, when I started to live in Warsaw in 1996, and it was maybe like two places I could go out and eat. Mm -hmm. And one was like Krishna place, the other one was like a falafel place. Krova Ziva opened in 2013. One of the main Polish daily papers organized a poll for the best burger place in Warsaw. It was one class, it was not like vegetarian class, vegan class, meat class, whatever. Krova Ziva actually won it because they rule. <laughs> Things went really fast and the places started to pop up one after another and like the last half a year was crazy. I think every month one or two vegan joints uh, are, are opening and it's hard to catch up. What are some traditional Polish dishes that you've seen veganized and that are popular here in Warsaw? Okay. Local, they do the best okay. vegan schnitzel. Their version is really close to the yeah. real thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing is broth, like a uh, soup, bro soup? Okay. Yeah, broth, they do it really good too. Tomato soup, some people make it vegan anyway, mm -hmm. but people like to put like extra bone in it or mm. or put like a br animal broth in it. Like a miasto, uh, have this, this meal that you called, it's like um, dumplings mm -hmm. made of cabbage, we call it gołąbki. It looks like a burrito made of cabbage with the stuffing of Regular, normally it's meat and rice or like buckwheat, but they make it like a vegan. Mm -hmm. And they make it also with kale. Mm -hmm. Pierogi. Pierogi is the, yeah, like Vega Miasto have, I think, six types of pierogi. One not very traditional, but really good, like, like chocolate and uh, with uh, coconut cream mm -hmm. as a topping. Great stuff. And do you feel like the number of vegan restaurants in Warsaw is going to continue to escalate as fast as it has in the past five months? Yeah, because the more you have, the more the, the more will will come. I think some people just got interested in it because of what what we have right now of, of the eateries and the, all these vegan joints that have popped up so far. The number of people being interested in veganism will grow and increase, mm -hmm. so they will need more places to eat. You saw the the, the queue yeah. in, in Krovaziva. You saw how packed is Vagemiasto. Mm -hmm. Go to local at lunchtime, and you want to to get a seat. Yeah. You wish. What are some of your favorite vegan restaurants here in Warsaw? For the fast food, for, uh, I would say Krova Ziva. Krova Ziva is like the best vegan burger place in Warsaw. Mm -hmm. And uh, for more uh, gourmet uh, cuisine, I would say Vega Miasto. Mm -hmm. Especially for like a sweet stuff there, like cakes are off the hook. Mm -hmm. And for the Polish traditional cuisine that is veganized, I would say local. It's, it's my favorite one. Well, thank you so much, Pastor, for your tips. today at a vegan restaurant called Local Vegan Bistro with Marta Dimmick and she is a blogger and she is an author of a brand new cookbook, right? Yep. And here is her brand new cookbook right here. And what is the name of this cookbook? Jadłonomia and it's the name of the blog as well. Okay, and it's in Polish? 
Well, yeah, I just made it up, so it has no meaning, just okay. a brand. Okay, and this contains many of your recipes. How did you get started with your blog? And I know your blog is very famous throughout Poland. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, that's a long story. I started it six years ago because I turned into vegetarianism and I just had to learn how to cook in a new way. And I decided to collect all the recipes in one place and blog might be a good place for it. Okay. And what makes your blog stand out amongst all the other blogs <laughs> in the blog universe? Um, well, that's a tough question as well, but I think I decided to call it first like plant-based diet, not veganism, because you know, in Poland people are a bit like scared about all this, you know, feminism, veganism, so um, when you call it plant-based, it's more like friendly, maybe you can try some salad, prepare some tofu, and you don't have to be scared of it, and you don't have to be vegan to eat it. Mm -hmm. How did you grow your blog so quickly? You've got a lot of likes on Facebook and you, you're a very, very popular blog. How did that happen? Well, um, maybe it doesn't sound original, but I was just very, very hardworking. And uh, two years ago, I decided to quit my job and focus just on my blog. Mm -hmm. So I was working like 12 hours a day to develop new techniques of cooking, pictures, mm -hmm. writing, and all this stuff just to help people to cook. Mm -hmm. And what would you say your favorite recipe in this book is? Coconut beetroot soup. In Poland we have this soup called borscht. Oh, right. And it's very popular uh, soup and it's made of beetroot. So mm -hmm. I decided to mix it with coconut because usually you serve it with cream. Mm -hmm. So I just made it up, coconut beetroot, and it's, it tastes really, really good. What are your tips for vegans coming mm -hmm. to Warsaw? Where would you take them? First of all, vegan burgers. We have pretty good burgers here. Uh, I also like this place, which we, you said is local vegan bistro. Yes. And um, I also think like people traveling to Warsaw, they should go to Halamirowska, which is a great place to make your groceries. It's like a huge place where local farmers are selling their stuff, basically. Okay. <laughs> and how have you seen the vegan scene grow in Warsaw? Where did it, when did it start and where do you think it's going? I think right now it's crazy because two years ago, like there, there were just like five places you can try some things, mostly vegetarian and vegan. Mm -hmm. Right now we have like 20 restaurants, and also in regular places you can have a great vegan meal. So um, I think it's popping very quickly, and and it's very good, of course. So I just hope it won't stop. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Marta. Really thank appreciate you. your time. Center, and this area has loads of vegan restaurants. Uh, there are now 21 vegan restaurants in Warsaw, Poland, which is amazing. I'm here today with Chris, and Chris is the chef at a restaurant called w Grunte Rzeczy. Grunte Rzeczy. Uh, we're going to check out a couple of dishes that Chris has prepared for us today, and they are incredible. This is what we ordered before. Uh, but this was a dish in of itself. These were the these are the pierogies. Is that how you pronounce yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, pierogi. pierogi. Okay. And then this dish is called what? Placek po węgiersku. And in in uh, in English we can uh, translate it because it's not it's hard to translation. But it's a uh, potato Hungarian potato pancakes. Okay. Yeah. But it's most funny things that that they not eat things like this in hun Hungarian. We have also uh, Russian dumplings, but they also doesn't eat it in yeah. Russia. Well, what they eat in Hungary, it's some kind of the stew, like like uh, with these pancakes. So stew with the originally with the big slice of meat and uh, champignon and, and paprika and zucchini. Okay. So this came as a dish in of itself. This was sort of a half of the plate, this large pancake yeah. with a salad, and then this came with these pierogies and also a salad, correct? Yeah. And also came with soup, which was delicious. Yes. Yes, yes. What is the secret of making a, uh, let me get a fork here, the secret of making a great pierogi? It's important to make a good cake like this uh, with, with flour. And then the, the secret is that uh, you can, you, you need to put uh, water in a good moment. And uh, the point when you, when you feel it after finger that you need to put some water and on the end you put okay. just a bit of oil. Okay. And then the cakes is very gently, very nice in the taste, and uh, it's not so, and it's quite thin, so which is also important. Okay. So I'm going to taste these right now. Okay. What's inside of this pierogi? This is a, a vegan, a, a vegan pierogi. Yes. Yeah. Inside and there is. Traditionally, a, these are not 
normally vegan. Is that correct? Or uh, there, there is some kind of the vegan pierogi with uh, cabbage and mushroom, but the rest are with the potato or cheese or with the meat. Okay. That that one with there is with uh, buckwheat and uh, some baked vegetables, carrot, parsley. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. Mm. That is delicious. Uh, let's try this as well. So this is a potato pancake. Let's see here. Get a little bit of the what zucchini? Is that zucchini? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's All zucchini, right. soya. Okay, and the some the mushrooms. Mm. It is just so good. And then we have a salad over here. And uh, this is just uh, what pumpkin seeds and lettuce and yeah, 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 a, a, an yeah. excellent dressing as well. Dressing, it's uh, most of it's uh, paprika and mm -hmm. uh, dry yeast. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Salt, pepper. Cool. Cool. Like cool. we try to make a simple uh, kitchen, like four or five ingredients max. Cool. Thank you so much for the interview. I really appreciate it. Bernard and she's a vegan in Warsaw, Poland. When we started planning for this trip there were I think 11 or 12 vegan restaurants. Now there are 20 vegan restaurants. Yes. And what do you attribute this incredible growth of vegan restaurants in Warsaw to? Uh, I think that you know the restaurant owners noticed that veganism has become very very popular now mm -hmm. and more and more people are interested in eating you know vegan things. And I noticed there was a, uh, a vegan hamburger place. Yeah, it is called Krova Żywa and yeah. the interesting thing is that also meat lovers go there and eat their burgers so this is a good sign I would say. Yeah it was packed and I yeah. noticed uh, there was a right near there was also a hot dog place a vegan hot dog oh, place. Yeah, dog, dog yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a lot of the food in Poland is is you know traditional meat eater food yeah. made vegan. Yeah. yeah, and there are many options. Like if you want vegan fast food, then you can have vegan burger. If you want vegan Polish food, there's also a place to yeah. eat. And if you want, I don't know, vegan salad, vegan smoothie. Yeah, there are many options. So yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. And do you see the trend continuing? Yeah, definitely, because it's not only about restaurants, but also about books. There are more and more books about veganism, mm -hmm. and they're you know being translated to Polish, and more and more like uh, vegan festivals, vegan mm -hmm. markets. Yeah, I think that that yeah. we're growing. Yeah. What is your favorite vegan restaurant? Uh -huh. So like now we are in front of Vega Miasto and actually okay. this is my favorite place mm -hmm. because the thing is that the food here is delicious but it also looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So it's a good place if you want to convince some of yeah. your friends to be vegan. This is Julia Bernard. This place is amazing. I think there are now 20 vegan restaurants. There should be I think three more in the next month or two. This place is on fire. So if you want to check out amazing Polish food, it's very reasonably priced. I would definitely check out Warsaw Poland. Thank you very much. Okay. Happy cow.